Hello, everybody. My name is Peter, and uh, after I uploaded my pipes tutorial, I got the request if I could do something similar, but with curves instead of pipes. First, I didn't want to because I'm really not the expert with curves, but then I thought, well, I could at least show how I use them and what I use them for. So let's go to the curve tool. You could use Bezier curve or I just use the normal curve tool and I thought I could model a chair, a boss chair. So let me lay out a curve here. I make it maybe like so. So this is the side view of a curve. And before I continue, I would like to point, point out some things. A curve is really a polygon. You see here we have one polygon with more than four words, which is true. We have two, three, four, five. So remember, a curve is a polygon and you can do almost everything to a curve that you can do to a polygon. That's quite an important thing to remember. So let me drop the tool. The first thing we need to do is we must, um, we must clone this curve. And you see we have here a curve clone tool, but this, although it implies it, does not do what we want. I quickly show what the curve clone tool does. It clones something along a curve, and this is not what we need, so I undo it. And because it is a polygon, we can use the normal polygon uh, clone tool. Uh, number of three is good. And then I bring these out here. I think it's good to see the words, so let's show them. What If we want to patch curves, we need to have a cage, a spline cage, really. And there are some tutorial videos out which show rather complicated ways of uh, connecting these curves together like uh, you take the curve tool and uh, bring out the curve shift click bring another one out here shift click another one here and if I change my perspective view you see it's completely out but it doesn't matter we can then just go to the uh, <coughs> vertex select these two words and bring them together and they will fall in place I don't know why one has chosen to do it this way maybe there was no other way available but Definitely with Modo 501 there are other ways. If you go to Geometry, Curve Palette, then you see we have Special, Make Open Curve, Make Closed Curve and the hotkeys to do it. So let's use this one. That's much faster. We just need to select all the uh, vertices, then Shift-O, Shift-O. You have to do it one after another, and if you forget the command, it's in the curves palette. So here, shift, uh, this one as well, shift O, and the last ones here, shift O. <coughs> Before I continue, I would like to point out something in addition. If you go to the Mesh Properties, you see we have here an option which is called Render Curves. And if I go to the Render tab and I select these Render Curves, 
then I the curves are rendered out in the thickness which is given here. So let's put this down to 10 and it looks much nicer. This is a, can be a real time saver. Just imagine you have to model this with normal pipes. It would take forever and you would have a million polygons. So remember, you can render curves and you can even uh, select all these polygon curves, hit the M key and you can give them a material like curves. And uh, some green color and if we now render it again you see it has green color. This is just uh, and if I remove this it disappears. Okay, so when you have such a cage you have incredible control over a mesh and it is really important that you take your time and uh, you can use everything so I will uh, go to the move tool on the red dot, bring this down a bit, this one as well, just a bit, then I select these curves here, hit the W key, bring them up a bit and hit the R key, bring them out like so, then maybe I make this here a bit narrower R key again, then make this a bit wider, like so, then these here, bring them down a bit, W key, oops, and then I take these two edges and hit the W key and bring them a bit in front. And now with some imagination, you see a chair in here. <clears throat> the only thing we have to do now is we have to patch it. The patch curves tool is here and there are some things which uh, we have to consider at the beginning. Namely, how many do we have in the perpendicular uh, dimension and how in the parallel. The perpendicular is the one which is selected first. So for example, let me activate the tool. I have three by two now. If I click on this one, then this edge here will have three polygons. If I click on this one first, then this edge will have three polygons. So you can just think perpendicular is the side you click first. So let me show you three by two and you have to select these uh, knots here either in a clockwise or in a counterclockwise direction otherwise it doesn't work. So one, two, three, four and uh, polys are flipped but they will be okay if we always start with the same one here one two three four one two three four you can use the same up here one two and Mm, we have to flip them manually. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> flip. Okay. Now, next is... Um, 
here I I mean the three perpendicular they are given they will not change but here I would like to have maybe five so now look what happens if I just uh, add up the parallel count to five and activate the tool this is not what we want so let me undo this and to <coughs> get around this there are several ways we could uh, select the polygons Oops. and hide them on hide we could select the polygons and lock them with lock and unlock but what I prefer is I control X them, create the new mesh, control V, put them in the new mesh and go back to the original mesh. Now they are protected and I want to have them in a separate mesh anyway. So let's reactivate the tool, 3x5, click in the viewport and something else which I would say is if any of these cage uh, segments does not have four of these green knots then you have a problem which you must fix otherwise it can be a very frustrating experience the other thing is I really urge you to make sure you have always four sides it can have more than uh, more vertices that's not the problem if you need words in between here you can just cut through and you get uh, new edges or uh, sorry new vertices but it is important that you have four sides otherwise it can be very frustrating so let me continue one two three four one, two, three, four, four. Drop the tool. I can select this now. Control X. Go in my second mesh. Control V. Go back to the original mesh. Now I reactivate the tool and make this here eight. So one, two, three four four and something else uh, you see here this one stays yellow it means we cannot patch this area here we must save this and reactivate the tool so clockwise patch this again and now we are finished control x go to the other mesh control v i don't need to see this one i don't need to see the words and <clears throat> I must uh, merge the words automatic okay and here is our chair we now only have to um, thicken it a bit on the blue handle and that's it my uh, 15 minutes are gone i must finish it i trust that you can uh, do the socket of the chair yourself and uh, thanks again for watching take care and have fun modeling with modo bye bye see you some other time